Good morning. I hope that you're well on this Good Friday. This, of course, marks the day in which Jesus would have began his journey towards the cross with intensity. We sometimes forget that the Jewish day began the evening before at 6 o'clock. So the Lord's Supper would have been on Thursday at 6 after the, the, the day changed and would continue through uh, Friday at which time he would have been taken from the cross and put in the grave before the end of Friday uh, at 6 o'clock. One of the events that took place <clears throat> in this period was when Jesus, uh, after the Lord's Supper, they walked from uh, where they were across the brook of Kedron up to the Garden of Gethsemane, there to pray. It's interesting that when they were walking across Kedron Brook, that brook feeds behind and by side the temple and the blood of the sacrificial lambs was rolling through that brook at that time as they crossed over it. It's somewhat of an interesting fact that here is the Lamb of God crossing over the blood that was being shed by the sacrificial lambs. He too would become the last sacrificial lamb. Let me share with you from Matthew, the 26th chapter, about this prayer that Jesus had. It said, Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane and said to the disciples, Sit here while I go and pray over there. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and deeply distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful even to death. Stay here and watch with me. He went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, What, could you not watch with me one hour? And watch and pray, lest ye enter in temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again a second time, he went away and prayed, saying, O my father, if this cup cannot pass away from me unless I drink it, your will be done. And he came and he found them asleep again, with their, for their eyes were heavy. So he left them, went away again, and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to his disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be go. See, my betrayer is at hand. Of course, at that time, he saw that here come Judas with the multitude that were coming to, to take him and to begin the long night of trial uh, and uh, then finally taking him to the crucifixion the next morning. In this time of prayer, some things came forth. First of all, when he said sorrowful and deeply distressed, it refers to the intense grief and extreme anguish that he was going through. And when he used the phrase, even to death, it was a type of grief that brought him almost that overpowering, that it almost kills. We know that in another passage, it said that he sweat drops of blood. We know that Jesus in his deepest prayers was was basically beginning the journey that would bring salvation to us all. So what do we do with this time of prayer? I believe America needs to be in deep prayer like this because there is a lot going on that could easily change this America from what it is before and what it's going to be. We need to be concerned about what's going on spiritually and physically in our world. We need to be at prayer. For I really believe that we're going to go through some trying times. I believe I see it beginning to lead towards that last time in which the world will just totally deny who Jesus is and run after a false savior. He prayed three times. 
for the cup to pass from him. Some have wondered, did this mean that Jesus was a coward and didn't want to be crucified? Well, folks, think about this. He was human as well as divine. Any human, when he comes to the knowledge of his own death, will be stricken and grieved by it. Sometimes it's best not to know, but those that have gotten prognoses that were terminal, many times their mind goes through the same kind of issue that Jesus had here, and they pray extremely hard. Nobody wants to die. I don't think that that I want to die. I, I, I don't mind death. I know where I'm going. It's how I'm going to die. I think that's the big issue. And Jesus knew how he was going to die. He knew the suffering and ag ag uh, anguish that he would go through in the next few hours. And that's why he asked God three times, if it possible, let this pass, cup, uh, cup pass from me. But he also said, not my will, but thine. The answer he received was silence. The only answer that he got from God was the angels were sent to give him strength. Friends, on this Good Friday, let's remember what Jesus sacrificed for our sins. What he sacrificed for us. It won't be long till he'll be coming back. And I'm looking forward to that day. I'm looking forward to being with my family and my church family in, in worship services. This Sunday, we're going to bring the services from the church itself. We've set up a method in which we can do that. So we hope that you will enjoy that time together, even though we can't all be together. There'll be about four of us down there that will try to bring some sense of an Easter service for you. So we just thank you for listening in. We ask you to keep things in prayer. Very soon we'll be back worshiping live with one another. And you all have a good day. And remember what Good Friday is all about. God bless you. Have a great day.